Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is find the greatest number which on dividing 1657 and 2037 leaves remained is 6 and 5 respectively. So what is the given question? So let x be the given number possible. So it is given that 1657 when divided by x will be leaving a remainder 6. And 2037, when divided by x, will be leaving a remainder 5. So 1657 modulus x is equal to 6, and 2037 modulus x is equal to 5. So you have to find out the greatest value possible for x. So when 1657 modulus x is equal to 6, so it means that 1657 minus 6. Modulus x will be equal to zero, and also 2037 modulus x is equal to five. So it means that 2037 minus five modulus x is equal to zero. So you have to find out what is the x. What is x? It is given that 1657 minus six. That means 1651. So 1651 modulus x is equal to zero, and also 2037 minus five. Which gives you 2032. So 2032 modulus x is equal to zero. So you have to find out x. So what is the greatest value possible in order to satisfy these two equations? 1651 modulus x is equal to zero, and 2032 modulus x is equal to zero. You are having a term GCD or greatest common divisor or highest common factor. So highest common factor of 1651 and 2032 will be your answer. The 1651 and 2032 both are common multiples of which number? Or what is the highest common factor possible for 1651 and 2032? So your aim is to find out what is the HCF of 1657 minus 6 and 2037 minus 5, or the HCF of 1651 and 2032. 32 now how to find out the hcf or the highest common factor you have to do the long division method so how to do it so 2032 divided by 1651 that is the first step you have to divide the larger number divided by the smaller number 2032 divided by 1651 so it is divisible by 1 only 1 we can take here so 1651 so your uh, remainder will be 380 One 2032 minus 1651, you will be getting 381. So 381 will be your new divisor, and you have to take the smaller number here. 1651 is a smaller number, so 1651 will be the new dividend, and 381 is the new divisor. So 1651 divided by 381, 4 will come here, and what is the remainder? 1524. 381 into 4 is equal to 1524. So 1651 minus 1524 will be giving you 127. So 127 will be your new divisor. Your new divisor will be 127. Each time the remainder will become the new divisor. So 127 is your new divisor, and the previous divisor will become your new dividend. So first case 1651 became the dividend, and the remainder 381 became the divisor. Now second step in the same way 127 the remainder it became the divisor and the previous divisor which was 381 will become the new dividend so 127 into 3 will be giving you 381 so your uh, remainder will become zero so once the remainder becomes zero the divisor in that case will be your hcf so when the divisor is 127 only you got the remainder zero So, what is your HCF? What is your highest common factor? Highest common factor of one thousand six hundred fifty-one and two thousand thirty-two is equal to one twenty-seven. So, one twenty-seven is your answer. When you are dividing one six five seven divided by one twenty-seven, you will be getting a remainder six, and two thousand thirty-seven divided by one twenty-seven, you will be getting a remainder five. Now, second question: Find the greatest number that will divide 172, 205, and 304, so as to leave the same remainder in each case. So, this is also a very common problem asked in competitive exams. So, what is the given question? You have to find out the greatest number, which, when divided by 172, 205, and 304, will be giving you the same. Reminder. Okay, you will be getting the same reminder in all the cases. 172 divided by x. Let x be the greatest number possible. So 172 modulus x is equal to y. 
then 2 not 5 modulus x is equal to y and 3 not 4 modulus x is also equal to y. The same reminder you will be getting each case the 172, 2 not 5 and 3 not 4 are divided by x. So, for these kind of questions, your answer will be the HCF of when you want the same reminder to be left in each case, your answer will be HCF of 205 minus 172. You have to take the difference between all these numbers 205 minus 172, then 304 minus 205, and 304 minus 172. All the combinations possible. So, 172, 205. The bigger number minus smaller number. So, 205 minus 172, 304 minus 205 and 304 minus 172. So, if you are finding the HCF of all these three, you will be getting your answer or you will be getting your X. That means, you are required to find out the highest common factor of 33, 99 and 132. So, even without using the long division method, you can easily say what is the highest common factor. 33 and 99, 33 is the highest common factor. And 132 is also a multiple of 33. 33 into 4 is equal to 132. So, your answer will be highest common factor of 33, 99 and 132 is equal to 33. So, 33 is your required answer. So, just remember when such a question is asked, what is the greatest number possible? So, that 3 numbers when divided by it leave the same reminder in each case. You have to find out the different combinations of the differences between the numbers. So, here 3 combinations are possible 205 minus 172, 304 minus 205 and 172, 304 minus 172. So, if you are finding the highest common factor of all these 3 numbers, you will be getting your answer. Thank you for watching.